Hello everyone, welcome to Infigam. In this video, we will be solving one Olympiad based question on factorial. Equation is x plus 2 factorial over x minus 1 factorial. That value is 60. We have to solve for the value of x. So, if you want to see how we can solve, you should be aware of what is factorial and how, how it will be written. So, x factorial, if Suppose I want to write the factorial x value. So that value will be x, x minus 1, x minus 2, up to 1. Means, suppose you are writing 4 factorial, that means you have to multiply, starting from 1, you have to multiply all the numbers from 1 to 4. So 4 into x minus 1 will come 3, x minus 2, 2 into 1. So your 4 factorial value will be 24. In the same manner, I will write x plus 2 factorial as x plus 2 decrease this number by 1. So x plus 1 again do the same thing x and then x minus 1 and so on. But I am stopping here. So, I will stop using factorial. Now, put this value of x plus 2 in the given equation. So, equation will become x plus 2, x plus 1, x into x minus 1 factorial over x minus 1 factorial equal to 60. Now you can easily see this x minus 1 factorial and denominator x minus 1 factorial will get cancelled out. So left is cubic polynomial or cubic equation x plus 2 x plus 1 times x is equal to 60. This is our cubic equation. Let us solve. But before that, if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. Thank you. x plus 2, x plus 1 into x is equal to 60. Open this bracket, x square plus 3x plus 2 into x is equal to 60. x cube Multiply, open this, 3x square plus 2x minus 60 is equal to 0. This is our ultimate cubic equation. For this, we have to solve for the value of x. We have to solve for. Now, uh, I am going to solve again this equation by remainder theorem. Already we have seen in one or two of my video, what is remainder theorem and how it can be applied actually in the case of cubic or degree 4 polynomial. So this uh, theorem states that you have to identify, you have to find out one factor by hook and crook or any other method or hit and trial method. Let me apply that. Let me put x equal to 1. Check whether that, that will be our solution or not. Okay, 1 cube is 1, 3 times 1 square is 3, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 60. Is this value will be equal to 0? No. So, x equal to 1 is not our solution or root. 2 cube, 8, 2 square is 4 times 3 is 12, plus 4. Is this value equal to 0? Again, no. Let me put one more value, x equal to 3. 3 cube, 27. 3 times 3 square, that means 27 again. 3 times 2, 6, minus 60. 27 plus 27, 54 plus 6, 60 minus 60. Yes, it is equal to 0. That means x equal to 3 is our solution. So, we will conclude x minus 3 is one factor, is one factor of our cubic equation. Okay? And cubic equation is x cube 
plus 3x square plus 2x minus 16. Now apply this remainder theorem. I will start with x cube plus 3x square plus 2x minus 16 is equal to 0. So again same thing. I will decrease the higher degree component by 1 and that 1 will be replaced by factor. So x cube can be written as decrease that higher degree component by 1 so it will become x square and that extra x will be replaced by our factor. Now check it should be equal to x cube at any time. So okay x square times x that is x cube. So that means this minus 3x square is extra if you will be multiplying this. So to counter this or to compensate that minus 3x square I have to add 3x square. Now this this bracket is equal to x cube. Rest is as it is. I am not going to touch it. 3x square plus 2x minus 16. I am repeating once more. Higher degree component or term I will reduce that degree by 1. So x cube will become x square and that extra x will be replaced by our factor. That factor is x minus 3. So once I do that then it will become minus 3x square is coming out extra. So to compensate that minus 3x square I need to add 3x square to it. So it will become like this. Now simply do the same practice again and again up till end. So x cube x minus 3 plus 6x square 3x square plus 3x square 6x square plus 2x minus 60 is equal to 0. Again same thing 6x x minus 3. 6 reduce the degree by 1. So x square will become x times replace that by extra factor. So what I did here minus 18x is extra. So plus 18x plus 2x minus 60. Same job. Now you can see it is 20x minus 60 equal to 0. Now you can write all the terms x cube x minus 3 plus x cube x minus 3 plus 6x x minus 3. You can take a pause if you want to check again and again. You can take pause. Now if I will take 20 common from this bracket then it will come out and rest is as it is. Now you can identify x minus 3 is everywhere available. Now I will take that x minus 3 common out. So if I will take x minus 3 common out equation will become it is x square actually. Check. I mistaken it is written x to x square. So if I will take x minus 3 common out so it will be there x cube x minus 3 x square plus 6x plus 20. This is our final factor. Now task is simple. x minus 3 x square plus 6x plus 20 equal to 0. This is quadratic equation. I will solve using quadratic formula. So I am not going to write quadratic formula. I am only writing a is equal to 1, b is equal to 6, c is equal to 20. So x will be equal to from first bracket x equal to 3. Obviously you can see it is our solution. From second bracket we are applying quadratic formula minus b so minus 6 plus minus square root b square means 6 square minus 4 times a times c. Let me write 4 times a times c. a is 1, c is 20 divided by or over 2a so 2 minus 6 plus minus under the root 36 minus 80 divided by 2. If you will check it will come out under the root square root minus 44. See, 
80 minus 36 that will be 44. So it, because of it is negative, so it will come out negative over 2. So if you want to see, I can write minus 6 plus minus iota and 44 can be written as 4 times 11. So 4 means 2 root 11 over 2. So ultimately 2 roots are complex and 1 root is real and that value is minus 3 complex root is iota 2 root only root 11. 2 won't come, 2 will be cancelled out. So this is how. So our ultimate solution is, let me write one more time, final solution. x equal to 3 is our only real solution. Real solution. And if you want to see imaginary solution also, then you can write x is equal to minus 3 plus minus iota root 11. There are two complex solution or imaginary solution. One solution is real. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe. Thank you.